I look like a wreck. I haven't showered yet. Got home from work. I'm tired. Haven't showered. Um, I don't even know when the... this My cell phone always takes forever to upload anything, so I have no idea how long this is going to take to upload. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a wee bit stressed, because if you've been keeping up with YouTube in general, you know that like there's a whole slew of things going on with the law in terms of whether or not a video is going... Uh, you have to mark every video as for kids, not for kids. And it's based on this vague criteria set by the, I believe, the FTC called uh, Kid Appealing. So it doesn't matter what your intent is. It doesn't matter who the majority of your audience is. It matters whether or not your videos are kid appealing. And a kid is 13 and lower, at least in the, in the United States, where I'm from. So I have no idea what the criteria is for other kids, but uh, fucking in other countries, I mean. If I, if I stumble over my words, it's because I'm very anxious. I've already tried to record this, and I'm very tired, so I apologize. Um, and I just had a monster, so I'm a little... I'm, that, that's slowly working its way through my system now, so I'm going to probably get a little bit more uppity. So basically, this, this update is... I haven't updated my channel in a while, because with these new changes rolling out, with all these things going on, with the possibility of being fined, if you, if you are fined by the FTC for find that that your video does in fact contain like kid appealing and i put this in quotes because again the criteria is vague and the way we're communicated what this material is is through youtube and it doesn't take into account what the actual fucking intent is or whether or not you're creating something for a general audience like, a lot of my content... I'll give you an example. Pirate Month. Pirate Month it could be considered general audiences in a lot of cases because I cover things like... This year I covered Peter Pan. Peter Pan is a classic story. Yeah, you could say it's a classic children's story, but it's a classic story in general. Adults, kids, teenagers, a lot of people identify and read this story. They watch different adaptations, etc. So does this count as kid appealing? And, and with YouTube's response, it's like, oh, we'll get a lawyer and have them go over your content and ascertain whether or not your content is kid appealing or not. Because, you know, we all can afford lawyers. I know the majority of my content is not kid appealing, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't make it very stressful because now the burden of deciding these things is put onto all individual creators. And it's not just one creator or two creators. It's a lot of us. It's all of us. Even somebody as small as me, which, again, I'm, I'm a very... Maybe I'm overthinking it because I'm very, very, very small uh, as a YouTuber. I am insanely small. I am... Uh, 218 subscribers is fucking nothing. Uh, so I, I get it. Like, I might be overreacting because I'm small potatoes, but... It still sets in this precedent. It's just, oh my god. Uh, so, yeah. I, I'm very stressed about the whole thing because now I'm going through all my videos and I have to make sure every video is marked appropriately. And what makes it worse is that these videos, even if they're not intended for kids, but they could be considered kid appealing, you have to mark them as kid appealing or, ki or I'm sorry, made for kids because that's what it is. It's not made for kids or it's made for kids. Even if it's not made for kids, but it could be kid served kid appealing, you still have to mark it. What about like generic stuff? Like I said, with Peter Pan, my videos deal with the thought and the, in the reviewing aspect of the themes of Captain Hook as a character. What fucking kid is watching that? I don't know, but that's not geared towards kids. But what if, what if the bot that they're implementing sees that as that's for kids? What the fuck? It's not meant for kids. It's just an, and it's the same with like Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is a beloved kids thing, but it's actually not. It's a beloved classic. And I talk about a number of Alice in Wonderland things on my channel. Is that considered kid content or not? So basically what this update is, is me freaking out, going through my videos, and I'm just giving this warning here and now. I am most likely just to play it safe, not because my content warrants this, but just to play it safe, I am most likely just going to fucking rate all my content as either 18 or up, or I'm just going to outright delete a lot of my stuff. That's at the point where I'm feeling right now, because 
as ridiculous and over paranoid as it might seem to a lot of people, even to myself, I am I am fully aware how how paranoid this is. I still I don't want to chance it because I've been looking into it and and maybe I don't have everything, but the minimum fine that I saw from the FTC if you are caught in violation of this this law, forty two thousand dollars per video. Oh my god. Who the fuck can afford that? I can't afford a lawyer to look over my content. Everything is boiled down to me, and I gear all my content towards people around my age, if anything. Nostalgic 20-something, 30-something people, 30-year-old people. People within my age bracket. That's who I target, but I don't... Oh my god. But anyway, now that I've gotten that out of the way, I'm warning you now, I am most likely going to just turn everything to 18 and up, or I'm going to just outright delete a bunch of my stuff, because if you have kept up with what the updates are for YouTube, um, if your video is marked for kids by, like, the bot or whatever, the bot is there, <laughs> the, va the the simplest term I can put is the, the bot is there to kind of, kind of cover not only YouTube's ass, but your ass, too. You cannot appeal it, mind you. If it finds your video is for kids, you can't appeal it. But let's say it finds your video for kids. It's to implement all the kid-friendly features on your video so that you can avoid being fined by the FTC. So it's it's kind of like a fail-safe to cover Google's ass and your ass. Now, I don't put ads on my videos, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, if they collect data from just what video you like, subscribing, hitting the bell, and all that stuff, just, I don't fucking know. I don't even know how they can ascertain whether or not a kid is watching your content or not. Because, I don't know, I just, oh my god, it's just very stressful. I'm, I'm not doing a good job of explaining it because I'm stressed, and I was trying to keep this video moderately short to just give you an update as to what to expect. Um, videos that I know for a fact I'm not deleting are a lot of my vampire videos for a fact. I know I'm not going to delete those. Those are not kid-friendly videos. Those are not intended for children at all. They're dealing with vampires, and they usually deal with very heavy topics. Um... But yeah, a lot of my book reviews, I'm probably not. But there are some videos, some of my most viewed videos, mind you, that I'm contemplating just deleting. Like my Adventures in Wonderland video that I was really proud of, that I took a long fucking time to make and create and craft, and I, and I really enjoyed doing that. That might get, even though Adventures in Wonderland is a 30-plus-year-old show and the only people who really know about it are 25 and ups... Doesn't matter, it could be considered kid appealing because it's Alice in Wonderland. I want to scream, I want to pull my hair out. But anyway, aside from that, uh, some uh, um, updates as to what I'm planning to do with my videos. Um, I haven't really been doing anything, as I said. I've been very tired and very stressed like I usually am, but this is just an added like salt to the wound. Um, I've been doing... Uh, Something that I never thought I was going to do, but whatever, it's tis the season, I guess, or it was at the time I started this, and there's a whole plethora of reasons that I decided to do this, but I decided I was going to be reading this book, and it's, and I was doing it with the intent, the genuine, honest, and earnest attempt to be more positive, because this book's been out for, like, what, fucking over ten years now? Longer, I I don't know when it I don't remember. I remember it came out in high school when I was in high school, so that's like a long time ago now. That's like over ten years now. Uh, no, it's ten years. No, yeah, over ten years now. It's been over ten years since this book came out, and my intent was to look through this book to be more positive and to like look at stuff. And I kind of just got bored, and I stopped about halfway. And I've been filming on and off a reading vlog. But the problem is, is I just kept stopping and having to talk about things I kept seeing in the book. Um, things that I liked or didn't like or whatever. Because again, I'm going into it with the idea of being more positive. So, you know, I have to talk about things I like or tropes I see and things that I see and so forth. 
So, yeah. So that's one big project that I've been working on. And it was supposed to be a surprise, but I need to at least have something to look forward to. So I guess I'll share that. I did review, I did a, um, film a review recently for my Terry's tie-ins. I did a, the novelization of a book and I'm actually quite proud of that review. I think that's once I get it edited, it'll actually be nice. But I, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know. But anyway, that's basically my update, guys. So, yeah. <sighs>